Oh, hey, I wanted to show you today this really cool feature that allows you to have free live captions and show a transcript and you can even download it at the end of your Zoom meetings and you don't need any third party software. It now works within Zoom. So I will show you today how to set something like this up in a few simple steps. So let me have a look at what we're going to do today. Free live captions and transcript on Zoom. So the first thing that you have to do to make sure that this shows up in your meeting settings as the host is you need to go to the website and turn it on. So let's have a look at the Zoom website. Um, make sure you navigate on the left side here to settings. And then usually the fastest way to find anything on this page is just click Control F or Command F to bring up the search function of this website. And then we're just going to type in transcript. And it brings us straight to this section right here, closed captioning. You want to make sure that this is turned on which allows host to type closed captions or assign particip participant or third party device to add closed captions. And now we have this new option here, enable live transcription service to show transcript on the side panel in meeting. You want to make sure that you have that box checked. And while we're here, we're also going to uh, allow participants to save the captions or transcripts. That is, uh, of course, optional, but I like to give the people that take my trainings, take my workshops, the option to download them as well, as I'll be sharing them afterwards anyways. So those are the two settings we're going to check on the website. And then um, there's one other thing that we want to have a quick look at, which is this. Um, when you record your Zoom meetings to the cloud, it also saves the transcript. And if you've ever um, shared those recordings, um, let me actually show you one that I have saved. This is from one of my recent virtual facilitator trainings. Uh, let's just go somewhere in the middle uh, where I'm talking. And as you can see, I'm just going to not play the sound, but you can see that the subtitles show up down here and people have this option to show and hide it as they're playing the recording on the Zoom website if you send this out. Um, the one thing that I think could be improved a little bit is sometimes there's a lot of text in like one or two or sometimes even three lines. So Zoom could make it a little bit easier by splitting that up into a few more shorter pieces of text. So you don't have to read such a long line like this one is quite long. Um, but if you want to make this available to your participants, to your viewers, when you send it out, you do want to go and go top to the top of the settings and then change from the meeting tab to the recording tab. And there will be one option down here that says viewers can see the transcript, um, which means they not only see the captions, but also when you click download all the files, they will get access to this closed captions file as one of the things that they can download. And I will show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, but you want to make sure that again, this checkbox is turned on. Now let's head back to um, to our Zoom meeting and I will show you how to enable the transcript within the app because now we've made it an option to be used in our meeting, but it doesn't mean that it's actually showing up already. So let me head back to Zoom. So uh, as you can see, it's still working down here and I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit on this little button that you can see at the bottom of the screen that says live transcript. I'm going to click that. I'm just going to disable that for a second. So uh, we know what it looks like when it's not working. Um, this is what you will see when you log in. This button is now visible on your on your screen. And if you click it, it gives you a few options. Number one, 
and number two uh, are the ones that have been there before assign a participant to type so if you have an actual person that will type live transcripts and this is really cool if you're using different languages if you have somebody uh, translating right away and typing captions in a different language you can assign that person and they will type or you can say i will type if you as the host are the person putting in the words you can also still copy the api token and use a third-party service like rev.com like otter there's other services out there which usually you have to pay um, i've also done a video on one service that was free but Actually, none of them we need anymore because now we can just simply enable it within Zoom and it's actually a lot more accurate than some of the other services, especially the free ones that I've used before. So all you need to do is click Enable uh, Live Transcription. And as you can see, it's already starting and sometimes it auto-corrects um, what I'm saying. So it's really weird. I'm, I'm trying to read and say at the same time what's, what's, what is recording, so I'm not going to look at it. Um, but if you see that little arrow next to the button, there's a few more options that we can have a look at. The first one is hide subtitle, which is great because if you're talking most of the time, it really is distracting. So I can just hide it um, and then you can show it again. And then we can also look at the subtitle settings. So let's have a quick look at that. Let me move that over a bit. So there are a few things that we can adjust in the subtitle settings. Actually, it's just one thing, which is the font size. So if you change this, um, maybe you can even see it on the bottom, then the subtitle gets smaller and we can also make that a lot larger so it only so uh, depending on how big you want to have it, you can adjust that here. And actually every participant has this button where they can change the uh, subtitle settings. It also is easily found in the accessibility tab in the settings. So let's close this again. And then the other thing that we can click on down here is view full transcript. And that's actually a really cool thing rather than the subtitles showing up at the bottom, uh, let's hide those and then let's show the full transcript and I will show you how this looks like. All right, so now you can see that the transcript is happening on the side over here. And right now it just shows a little bit of the time code and then what, it's been set, what is being said. Um, if you have more than one person in your meeting, it will actually try its best to automatically detect who is speaking and it will show you a little um, image thumbnail and your name. So it would uh, actually let's scroll all the way back to the top, which is another thing you can do. You can scroll back to the top and see on the top here, it actually says my name has my thumbnail. I'm the one who's talking. If somebody else was talking, it would switch to show their thumbnail and their name. It's not 100% accurate because especially if people are talking over each other, it sometimes doesn't know who was talking. Um, but what a great way to, to use that, that information um, and make it easier for anyone who is hard of hearing and you don't necessarily see who is who's speaking or if you want to review something. Uh, like again, it's not 100% accurate, but it's a good start. Um, the other thing that we can do down here is you can see this button that says save transcript uh, and this is available to all the participants if we made that available on the website so when you click it the transcript is saved and you can then just click show in finder which we're going to do um, hold on i need to switch my view so you can actually see what i am seeing uh, let's come over here so now in the finder, you have this text file. And if we open that up and have a look, it actually has everything that has been said until the point of when you save the transcript, which is just a text file, has the uh, time code at the beginning and then everything in it. So you can send that out as a resource to your participants afterwards. Um, and you can also 
download a different type of file, which is a VTT file, which is a subtitle file, which we'll look at on the website right now. So um, let's have a quick look. We already talked about all of this. So we can save the transcript as the text file within the meeting. But then when you have cloud recording enabled, it automatically saves this closed captions file. So let's have a look at that. So when you record something in the cloud, um, it will save this closed caption file. And when we click that and ask it to download, say yes. And then we're going to open this up. You might see something like this. There's no application set to open the document. Because this is a VTT file, means this is used for uh, to upload your captions or subtitles when you upload the recording, the video to YouTube or Vimeo or any other video platform. You can add the uh, the subtitle file, and the program will know. Okay, we're going to take out the time codes, and we're only going to put the text on the screen so people can turn it on and off. Um, if you wanted to open this document, there is a little a little hack um, that I can tell you. So uh, hold on, I need to quickly switch my view so I can actually show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the file up here that I just downloaded from uh, Zoom and it has the ending VTT. So if I try to open it, nothing works. So if I just go in and edit, and we'll just take away, let me move my mouse, all of the endings and just write TXT, uh, it will ask you, are you sure you want to change the file extension? And I say, yes, use TXT. Now I just turned this into a regular text file. And um, if I try to open it, hold on. I can see all the text the same way as uh, I was seeing it from when I downloaded it online. It still has all the time codes in there, um, but you can actually read it and you could share this as a document to your participants afterwards very easily. And then, of course, if you don't want the text document, you can simply take the VTT file and upload it to YouTube, to Vimeo as subtitles so people can turn it on and off themselves. Um, I think this was the last thing that I wanted to share about this new feature. So um, please let me know if you have any questions, if uh, you are planning to use this feature. And um, yeah, I'm really, really excited how this is going to make Zoom meetings so much more accessible for anybody who is hard of hearing or deaf. Um, using screen readers, this is going to be super exciting. So I can't wait to turn this on on literally every single one of my meetings and events. Because even for the people who are not uh, needing it uh, in a way of accessibility, it's a great resource to have a document where you can search what was talked about in an event, in a meeting, and straight go to that point of the video rather than having to scrub through everything. So if you like these videos, please make sure that you hit the like button, you subscribe. Um, this is one video of my Zoom Keeper, Zoom Keepers course that I'm putting together where it's a bunch of video tutorials like this where I show you how to use different functions in Zoom so you can facilitate more meaningful, effective, memorable, transformational experiences online. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.